Okay. okay. Something that go. you find kind of disgusting that everybody loves. No, or the actual no, normal. Yeah, you. Huh? Every, a lot of people mm. think this is normal, but for you, <laughs> I think it's yeah. disgusting. I think I can't get it out of my head. Like I hate sushi. Everybody loves sushi, and it just it seems revolting to me. <laughs> You're not like, a seafood guy. Yeah. How can you not? Yeah, yeah that's all. Let odd. me go outside of food on this one. Mm-hmm. There are two things on this list of what do you find disgusting that everyone else thinks is totally normal mm-hmm. that we have actually made topics on the segment Ask the Guys, where ladies will ask men these questions like, we don't get you, please explain. Mm. Because, Sam, mm-hmm. as I watch the Astros play and I'm looking at the players I love so much. Yes. There's like, oh, wow, there's Jose Altuve. He just hit a great home run, blah, blah, blah. And he doesn't know he's on camera. He's just watching a spit, 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 spit. Mm -hmm. Men walking down the sidewalk outside the parking lot where you park your car at Dollar Tree. Spit. What's all this excess saliva that we have here in Houston? Especially in in sports. Baseball mostly, though. Yeah. They're always spitting stuff. Well, because you're running around. Baseball is almost a little too extra because they're all in the dugout and they've just got nothing else to do. They're eating stuff and spitting. But I'm saying, in general, why do men spit? That's on the list of things that are disgusting that people find normal. We normalize that men just do this, but why? It's disgusting. It's disgusting. I don't see it as much. Maybe I don't notice it. Do you know this because you're a girl? I think more we grab our crotch. That's also on the list, Eric. I always tell people it's not really grabbing. Man junk adjusting. It's like a pinch and a roll. Yeah, I mean, if, yeah. You're, if you're out, like, what? doing a long walk or something. <laughs> right. You're doing what? Conversation. <laughs> That's right. Um, yeah. yeah it's a pinch and a roll. Yeah. You're going to go to one side. you got to make what? sure you're comfortable. Yeah, it's just different. Or you could wear some nice, tight-fitting underwear like I usually get. The, the hugs it you, like a you cradle? Call, you call them tidy whities but these they're they are not white. They're every they're color of the like rainbow. like an apparatus. He's got the one with the elephant apparatus. trunk. He just puts yeah. it in there. <laughs> It's it's called a dong pocket. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Yes, Kevin, don't oh they actually God. advertise there's a certain a kind of male underwear it. that kind of like hugs it, like kind of like cradles it in there like a little lullaby, like a little lullaby. I, lo- <laughs> I love the hand motions that Rula is making because I can imagine her cupping the bulls. Yep. <laughs> What? what did you, yeah. you see her? She's like this scooping. Is not a raw she can see her do that. There's something I don't like. Is I don't, uh, I don't think that's so and I'm a, I want to go to like uh, a, a sub shop and just look at people that get lots of onions, like raw onions, and they put on their their subs and that. I just What's wrong with that? I just think it's gross. You're gonna smell. You're, and it smells. It's a smell. Well, they clearly don't if you're doing care. It at home, that's fine. But no, what I hate is when they get on an airplane with it. But I mean, I'm just oh, saying, yeah, real life. You just see them, and they just put tons of their raw onions on it. I'm just like. You go mm. be stinky for days. No way. No, they're not going to stink for days. It's called the yeah, brush your teeth, scope, shower. Oh, yeah, because that gets onions out. You're going to smell yeah. so White weird. onions Because you guys do onions all the time. You think pungent. you don't smell anymore because you're, you're used to it. Are you trying to tell me yeah, that I smell of it. onion? Yeah, do we smell? Uh, do we smell? <clears throat> I don't know if that's what the smell is. It's more like formaldehyde. <laughs> <laughs> Mothballs? <laughs> so you're saying there's a smell. <laughs> you ever go to old people's houses? That's Ryan. I'm saying old people's houses, they got that mothball smell. Oh, yeah. Yes, is that their like, ointment they put on? Is that why they smell like mothballs? They're no, the what closet. is that smell? They've been keeping clothes for the mm-hmm. last 50 years, and, and actual yeah. moths will eat at them if you don't put that up in there. <laughs> no, cedar there's got to be an alternative oh, to that, yes, though. the cedar closets. Yeah. Those are nice. I don't know if there's an alternative. Other things you find disgusting that are totally normal. Here are some things that it's the scream sneeze. Or they call them dad sneezes. Yeah! Yes! Oh, yeah. That's- yes. Those are the best because it really gets the, the phlegm the going. Yeah, the, 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 the uh, dust out. Oh, God. That's that I don't want to be show. behind you in line. <laughs> I don't want to be behind you in line. <laughs> you that. Oh, yeah. Then you walk through <laughs> the, the plume. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No. yeah oh. The spray. oh. Mm-hmm. How about this one? Um, hearing somebody with a heavy, productive cough. Not a dry one, but one that's real, like, wet and productive. <laughs> like that? Yeah. 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 But yeah, old man cough. like that. But nowadays, uh, there's yeah. plenty of people. Yeah. People then, try and hide here, them now, though. Like at right? work, people cough like that. Like no, dainty. it's usually um, it's usually someone who's about to get on the plane with you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like hold oh, God, up. God, or like please. you could be in line at the grocery Gosh. store and you hear somebody hacking like that. Mm-hmm. You know, we're so used since COVID, we're so used to, you know, having to make sure, like, always it's sneezing your elbow or cough into your elbow, but I usually will go on the inside of my collar of my shirt. And so yesterday, I was like, <clears throat> and I was going to, you know, cough behind me. And I was thinking, well, gosh, imagine if I was somewhere in public and I didn't look and I go, Whoa! 
And I just coughed on you know what's dis- disgusting I find also is kids in hot tubs. Kids cannot control their stuff, and they'll just they'll Wait, pee I say in they there. pee in the hot tub? Yeah, kids should not be in hot tubs. It's just not. Doesn't the hot water just kill it? What's the difference between the hot tub? Oh, 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 so Sam oh, must pee oh, in hot tubs. See, the urine's do. I didn't say no, that. I was no. just asking. Even swimming pools, like when you do go to those public resorts, pool, yeah. you go to the resorts, oh, yeah. they're peeing yeah. in it. And they sit in those little oh, yeah. concrete chairs, yeah. which that's fun, oh, yeah. but. Oh, yeah. They're peeing. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, Sometimes if the pool is really big, it doesn't geek me out as much. But there is one very nice place in Galveston that has a pool that people like to sit and drink at inside. Oh, and I it's know. not that big. Mm-hmm. And it geeks me out because I'm thinking that dude right there has, he has been there for six hours. Yeah, he's and not got out of that pool one time. He, he's he's stewing in his own juice. if he's drinking like a six pack. Oh, yeah. There's no way you can hold it down. I mean, long. you're at the bar and you haven't left. In like at least three and a half, four Ooh, somebody hours. Somebody said blowing their nose in a restaurant napkin. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, god, so, that's not so cool. nasty. Like that, my dad's that generation, is they, so they had nasty. handkerchiefs. Uh-huh. Okay, guys, they were born in the forties. Their cloth n- snot rag. My dad was born in forty four, so he had a. Oh, tons of handkerchiefs. My dad was born in 48, and he See, would always, generation. well, what would happen is that I'd sneeze, and then he'd pull yeah. it out of his pocket, yes. and then hand it to me. Ew. I'm like, ew, dad, it is so gross. You yeah. gotta find, like, a section of the cloth that doesn't so have, like, Son, I didn't right use it, it that much. Oh, oh. 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 No. Are those no. gone my now? Dad, Does anyone my have dad those? also, Kevin, had always his, his handkerchief, always, always, because always. They had, well, yeah. you see him in a suit. A like, you know, they had, like, Well, they probably didn't have tissues back in the 40s, You hold on to it all day? Yeah, and wait for it to dry and yeah. then re. Yep. Yeah. I think maybe, guys, it was made for just the actual like you're gonna cough into it, and just a nope. cough just to cover it. But oh, this no. is like no. you know men were like full on snots. Ew. My dad had those there. cloth hankies. They were gross. <laughs> There's something in the 40s Other- and 50s, I guess, because they didn't have tissue paper back then. Maybe. I don't know. My I'm grandma sure just kept tissues. hers in her like. Do you think they had tissues under her boobs? Her kerchief. Oh, my mom little- kept it. Yes, yeah, between the boob. She, she didn't wear a bra, so she just like put it under. So she'd and wedge just- a Kleenex under her boob. Pick it up. Yeah, no, a cloth. There you go. Oh, wait, oh, are you making that up, Sam? Because that kind of sounds like it makes sense. No, are you I'm making not that making- up? No, or you trying to say grandma stuffed? No, my grandma. No, it's between your grandma actually put like a handkerchief underneath her boob. No, between. I don't know if she put it between. Between. They ha- they can't hold they, there between no. like they're really big and there's a good like she was not underneath so I guess underneath. Under, under boob like and it, it was just it there. was always summertime so it'd be kind of for sweat or if you sneezed I think oh my God, we are totally grossing for, people like, out right now well, yeah. grandma's people were, are saying toothpicks were, were they cloth or are they tissue, tissue. hers were tissues Tissue. yeah see right. tissues. let's read some of the text here we got uh, mm-hmm. talking with okay. your mouth full of food I can't oh, yeah, stand that when people do that that's gross things Restaurant. that are disgusting to you but other people think it's totally normal okay that's not normal but okay let's toothpicks. go next one toothpicks can be kind of gross mm, now listen Dusty Baker is all about his toothpick and I'm just always terrified that he's somebody's gonna slap him on the back and he's gonna swallow that thing and he's dead is it cinnamon flavored right at least there. oh I love those cinnamon yeah, toothpicks when I was a like, kid he flips it like oh, like, oh yeah yeah, yeah that's yeah. dangerous uh-huh. yeah mm-hmm I don't okay. think that's good. What Let's else see. is on that list? Picking your teeth at a restaurant with a straw at the table. Ugh. Sometimes you get a piece <laughs> of food in there. Use your straw. Supposed to use yeah. a little sword from that. Well, drink. hopefully they you have know. a toothpick and you can no, excuse yourself and go drink, dig that out. Get... Or you have to use like the sugar packet because it has that corn. Oh, yeah, yeah, the corn. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah corn. I mean, what's the alternative? Packet. You can't break out a floss in the restaurant. Use Rilla, the... do you have yeah, the swords at your restaurant for like a? A drink we with do cherries and the that. swords for the maraschino cherries yeah. and olives and stuff. Yes, we had the little mini I swords. I love those as a kid at yeah. the bar, and I have them here in my house too. Because being a restaurant kid, when I, um, you know, adulted as I grew up, my husband and I, when we moved into our first house with our bar, we built like that kind of bar where mm. you have that little fruit buffet thing. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you put the olives and the cherries and the limes and the yep. oranges, and then with the little swords. I love that. Yeah. What about um? Someone said. Communal food like potlucks, pizzas oh, yeah, like that... for work parties where it's yo, just a bunch. Yo, like I don't wait, like when it's like a twelve foot sub and it's there and you got to cut it with a knife. It, you, so people put their hand on it and they cut it. Off no, a piece. no, no, no. Like Here's the story, Eric. Yeah, I need a pre-cut. Mm-hmm. I don't know if this was. Um, I don't think this is pre-Sam time, but you know Ryan and me and Kevin and Eric, we've been here a while here at KRBE, yeah. and we've seen the evolution of the potluck Thanksgiving. Yeah, and right. there was one year I will not say which year it was that I was alarmed. By other employees. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. That, that thing right there. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Oh, it was like that. That was the. What, there was, was all like the rocks? panic eyes. 
It was the panic eyes because oh. this one person had a severe cold, oh, and they were doing yeah, that productive yeah, yeah. hack cough at the at the in the office. Like, it was nope. like a productive hack cough <laughs> while the person was prepping the item for oh, us to oh, display. Yeah. And so the people that were closest to that person when they were hack cough prepping, they would like make the eyes and go, no, 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 mm-mm, yeah, mm-mm. don't that need one. that bronchitis, hoagie. <laughs> don't scoop that bunch of flu dosed <laughs> salad in your this is interesting. I never thought of it this way. Someone said chewing gum. It reminds me of that you're just trying to suck on a bunch of flavored spit. That's, that's true though. You never think about it, but that's when what it is. You say it like that. That's gross. But I like gum. gum is actually like good for you to chew after you eat because it gets stuff out of your teeth which you don't realize you're gonna toss that piece of gum anyway and it freshens your breath. That's true. That's right. why Do you ever swallow Trident your gum? does that commercial about no. dentists who no. want you to chew gum. It, Ryan. Hell no. Yeah, I thought as a kid I did. That's why there's things wrong with you. Yep. <laughs> it's stuck in there and said, it was all the hubba bubba I swallowed. <laughs> <laughs> Let me throw out this last so one. so much. Because we're gonna, how do y'all feel about American flag clothing? That's on the list. Some people think it's terrible and others think it's totally normal. American flag clothing. Your shorts look like the flag. You're wearing a shirt. That's all the flag. I'm in Fourth of July. You got Crocs that's the that are the flag. the only day you can wear it is Fourth yeah. of July. Yeah, if it's like today and you, I see that, I'd be like, that's um, no, nothing says classy like. As a gay yeah. person in Texas, if I see a, a truck with a bunch of flags coming off of it, I get scared because I feel like a hate crime is about to be committed towards me. <laughs> what? Oh my yes. god, Kevin! Lady and queer. But Kevin, do you oppose the American flag America. bikini? <laughs> America doesn't have any queer. Get the hell! You hold his hand. Give me, give me, wait, is my flag up? Come on. Oh, you flags. Oh, my God. I don't know if you get there, but okay, right. you do. I swear. Right. You never, <laughs> see, that, you never see gays okay, driving around with a big old rainbow flag coming off of our uh, car. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Just yeah. on one day, just the pro- I have seen cars that have rainbows on the back, like bumper stickers, like bumper stickers and window stickers. Right. I'm but, always amazed at people that put, like, their... Democrat or Republican stickers on or rainbows. I'm like, why just call yourself out for anything? Oh, yeah. Yeah, why I've been, asked, I've been asked a target. To put signs I don't want to target for anybody. I'm like, no way. I'm not putting a sign in my front yard. Ryan, I'm with kidding? you. They come by and they're like, can you please put a sign? Hell no, no not in this political climate. No I'm getting way, shot. Man. I'm nope. not doing that. I'm going to no piss thanks. off at least 50% of the people. Uh, yep, so, yep. no. <laughs> not worth it. Sam's going to be on till 12 o'clock. What you got, Sam? Any surprises you want to throw our way? Going to tick off anybody? No. Sam's no. going to talk about American flag bikinis. Yes or no? For men. <laughs> for men. <laughs> I'm going to give Kev my leftover bikini I have from last year. He'll cut it up into his own little man bikini and have a great time for the July. Was that the maternity bikini? Because I'll probably fit into that one <laughs> after after seeing my fat ass on the, on the Instagram the other day. <laughs> I'm so sorry about It's a camera. That. Still That's upset. 10 pounds. He's still upset. 15. Oh, God. You're just drawing attention to it, Kevin. You're going to make people dig for that picture. You could have just let it go Stop and no looking. one has to talk Stop about looking. it. Stop looking. Let's get out of here. We got to go. We got to go. Okay, go. yes. Have, have a great show, Sam. Okay. If you missed anything Bye, today, guys. go to podcast page, krb.com. Bye. Bye. Have a great day. Bye.